Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, bringing you the most important news from the Holy Father and the Vatican. In an interview, Pope Francis compared abortion to hiring a hitman. I ask, is it legitimate? Is it right to eliminate a human life to resolve a problem, the Holy Father said. Now, he was responding to the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. When asked whether a Catholic politician who supports the right to choose abortion can receive the sacrament of communion, he warned of bishops losing their pastoral nature. The Pope has repeatedly underscored his pro-life positions in the past. The Vatican's provisional agreement with China on the appointment of Catholic bishops will probably be renewed for the second time in October. Now, Pope Francis said in an interview that the agreement is moving well, and I hope that it can be renewed. The controversial Vatican-China agreement was first signed in September of 2018 and then renewed for another two years in October of 2020. The terms of the agreement have not been made public. Pope Francis has expressed shock and sadness over the mass shooting that led to the death of at least six and wounded some 30 others at a 4th of July parade in the Chicago suburb of Highland. Now, in a telegram sent on his behalf to, uh, to Cardinal Blaise Supic, uh, the Archbishop of Chicago, the Pope condemned the senseless shooting, appealing for a rejection of all forms of violence. The Pontiff asked the Cardinal to convey his spiritual closeness to all affected by this attack. The Catholic Church will continue implementing measures against clerical sexual abuse, even if there may be reluctance or pushback in some places, said Pope Francis. In comments to Reuters, the pontiff said there was resistance, but with each new step there is growing awareness that this is the way to go. Pope Francis said the Church started zero tolerance slowly and moved forward, and I think the direction taken on this is irreversible. During the Angelus Prayer on Sunday, Pope Francis implored the authorities of Sri Lanka to listen to the cries of their people, suffering under the country's worst economic crisis in 70 years. I join in the grief of the people of Sri Lanka, who continue to suffer the effects of political and economic instability, the Pope said. Together with the country's bishops, I renew my call for peace and implore those in authority not to ignore the cry of the poor and the needs of the people. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. I'm Benjamin Crockett for EWTN Vatican.